Google Trends, the app, the tool, whatever you want to call it, is an oldie, but it's definitely a goodie. It's a really good identifier to know if your product is either on the rise of popularity or whether or not it's slowing down in popularity, whether it's seasonal, whether it has sales jumps throughout the year on certain periods of time. So it's a really, really great a great tool to actually analyze your particular product. And also it's a great selection tool also for your product just to verify that extra step on whether or not it is something that looks juicy or looks good. So you can go to trends.google.com. This is a, a free tool that you can actually use. So let's have a look at this one here. So we can see that this is in the United States. I'm always putting it at usually the past five years. We put our keyword in here. So in this particular case, the keyword is car vacuum. And when we look at the trend, we can see that the trend is on a slight rise, right? So if we're looking at a car vacuum cleaner and that was the product that we're thinking about launching in the US, we can be sure that the trend is on an uphill and it looks pretty good from that regard, right? So that's an important thing. Now, if we were looking at the trend and we saw the trends go down over a period of five years, it's probably not going to be a great product for you to be thinking about. Uh, you definitely need to take that in consideration. You also need to think about why the actual trend of that particular product is declining, right? So it's going to be an important factor for you to actually look at and assess with your particular product. Now, if we go down here also, we can see that the, uh, we can also see the interest by subregion in the state. So we can see Hawaii seems to be the place where well, the state where this actual particular product is most popular. So if you were running Google ad campaigns, for example, what you could do is you could actually just target Hawaii for your product because you know it's probably one that's uh, the most popular region uh, for purchasing that particular product. Now, if we go down here, we can see on the right-hand side also the related queries. So this is also related queries to that particular product that we can see. We can see floor mat cleaner, a dash cam, uh, let's see, microfiber car cloths. So if you're thinking about bundling a product and bundling this particular product, or you're thinking about providing an upsell with this product, say it's on your website, then I'd probably be looking at these particular products because they seem to be basically quite clear that they are uh, relatable, right? And some people seems to be uh, searching for those particular products also. And then we also have related uh, topics here on the left-hand side. All right, so let's go and do another one. So this is cat grass, the search term. Now, so the, put in our keyword into there. So this is Australia. We can see over the past five years. And if we have a look at it again, you can see it's kind of gone, you know, gone a little bit, but it's kind of more or less on the rise. So it's fairly stable the last five years and that slight rise. So again, this could be a interesting product to look at. Obviously, you need to verify a lot more um, analytics and a lot more tools to actually have a look and make sure it's good. But in terms of the actual trend itself, we can see that it's actually looking quite good, right? We go down here. And again, we can see the actual states in Australia where the, uh, the cat grass is most popular. It's Queensland. And then we can also see related queries here also that people are actually typing in. All right, so let's go and have a look at another one. So this is Beach Tent. This is in Australia. Now we can see that this is a seasonal product, right? So we can see that basically the chart's going like this. It tells us seasonal because basically not only is it going up and down, we can see that basically sales increasing there or search volume increasing there, declining there. But also there's a longer period of time before the trend actually starts to go down. So that's obviously a seasonal product, right? Come summer, the beach tents demand goes up. Come winter and autumn, the demand goes down, right? So that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's have a look at another one. Now, this is, I'm gonna me rub that out. So basically a meat thermometer, someone might look, look at this and think, wait a minute, it's seasonal, but it's actually not seasonal. Uh, this is kind of a little bit different. So as you come towards the end of the year, so this is the United States, you can see past five years of meat thermometer. As it starts to get towards the end of the year, around about November, 
just for that short period, probably to about January or, or uh, this late December, then you're seeing that spike. And that's just due to the ends of uh, the year, due to holidays, a lot more people are having barbecues in, in the US. So I wouldn't call this seasonal because it still sells all year round uh, definitively, but it's kind of more or less, it doesn't have those big breaks of the seasons, right? So this is kind of more sales spikes as opposed to anything else. So the importance of Google Trends is something that you really need to contribute to basically do part of your product research and having a look to see where your product is heading. But it's also a good tool to actually use to see where you want to launch the product that you're thinking of. So you can choose from the United States, you can choose from any other country also if you're actually looking at uh, looking at that. So make sure to double check that before you launch your particular product or before you're set in stone on selecting that particular product to make sure it ticks all the boxes. I don't have an issue with selling seasonal products. I think they're a great uh, products to actually sell, but just as long as you know that you are getting involved in a seasonal product, you might actually minimize the risk by sending half the inventory to the US and half of it to Australia, for example, then that way you're selling all year round. But also another thing to look at if you are looking at a particular seasonal product. So if we go back to the beach tent here, when you're looking at one, deciding on whether to get one or not, on the low periods, what you should be looking at to see is if it's completely flatlining or not. So for example, this is pretty much completely flatlining, right? But sometimes you'll get seasonal products that will do, right? Let's just say, and as an example, I don't do a good job of doing this, but let's say, for example, it's that high. So if it's that high from the actual flatline, you know that there's still a good considerable amount of sales happening even in the lower seasons, right? So with that, be looking forward to the next video. Take care. We will speak soon. Bye-bye. This is the Asher from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. I want to say a big, big thank you for watching this video. That video actually was from the regular Monday night Q&A session, <coughs> excuse me, that I have with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. Over two and a half thousand of us now and growing by the way we're the fastest growing community of e-commerce entrepreneurs right here in Australia with sales by the way of over 50 million dollars now if you'd like to find out more about what we do at the Aussie online entrepreneurs and get yourself off there and come and join us all you need to do is go to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com dot com dot au aussie online entrepreneurs dot com dot au the link for that by the way is underneath this video and i will welcome you with open arms and look forward to seeing you in the next video till then have a good one bye